For many years, I believed that grace was a finishing touch. That's the way I had been taught. And I believed that grace was something that came after I was crawling on my hands and knees. You know, I had to be just right down in the dirt. I had to just have the dirt under my fingernails. I had to just be right at the end of my rope. And then somehow grace would come and help me finish. Um, and that's how I'd always seen it. But listen to what Brother Stephen Robinson writes. He says, I understand the preposition after in 2 Nephi to be a preposition of separation rather than a preposition of time. It denotes logical <coughs> separateness rather than temporal sequence. We are saved by grace apart from all we can do, or all we can do notwithstanding, or in spite of all we can do, or even regardless of all we can do. Another acceptable paraphrase of the sense of the verse might read, we are still saved by grace, after all is said and done. So grace isn't a finishing touch. It's not a light waiting at the end of the tunnel, waiting for me to get my act together, break all my bad habits, get everything right, to finally go and receive grace. Rather, grace is the light that surrounds me here and now. It's the power that moves me through the tunnel. It's not a booster engine that kicks in once our energy supply is exhausted, rather, grace is our constant energy supply. Mm 